Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. We are in good company. We are the theater troupe, and we're in good company with you. And we are here, as your principal said, along with some of your classmates, to put on a show called The Golden Door. Now, before I start, I have a couple of questions that I'd like you to think about. OK, we're going to talk a little bit afterwards. Uh, but think about these questions and think about these answers. All right. So the first one, this is a word that's being used in the news a lot today. And so it's, do you know what is meant by the word immigrant? Don't tell me now. OK, we're going to talk about it later. Do you know anybody who might be described as an immigrant? And then do you think that I'm an immigrant? This is a show about immigrants who come to Boston. And they all meet in, in an Armenian grocery store. Okay, um, Some of them have come to the United States many, many years ago. Some of them have, are new to the United States. And they're all trying to find ways that they fit into the neighborhood. Um, Armenia is a country. Uh, has anybody heard of Armenia? Excellent. So it is a country. It's called a Eurasian company and a country, and that means that it's right in between Europe and Asia, um, and it is next to Turkey. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I am dressed up in old-fashioned clothes because we also have ancestors, and they come to remind people of the traditions from the old countries and to remind them to keep those traditions going. Some of our characters have accents, and they speak different languages. We sing in different languages. However, not all of our characters are kind or understanding about what it's like to come to a new country, to be an immigrant. And sometimes they're not always saying some nice words. OK, so see if you can find who that is. But more importantly, see if you can Find out if people change as they get to know one another, as they get to learn about each other through their songs, their stories, their dances. And now, let's take a trip to visit the Golden Door. I think I see Ani, the store owner, coming now. <laughs> Johnny just called. He's on his way over. I can't give food away. I can't even give candy to children. What does it matter if we're uh, selling the place? You're not putting that sign up. Of, co of course I am. The ad's in today's paper. No. Stop that. Marco. No. Grandpa. Grandpa. No. You. Use your words. Grandpa. <clears throat> your grandmother's lost her mind. I'm not selling. We have to sell. We've got no customers. Selling what? At uh, the store. The store? What? Are you selling the store? Yes. No. The store is for sale? Why didn't someone tell me? Why didn't Mom tell me? Your mother doesn't care enough about the store to bother. She never wanted it. But Grandma. Bonnie, get a grip. Why didn't you tell me, Grandma? Oh, it breaks my heart. Killing my grandparents. That's what it is. Your grandparents passed long ago. Selling this place. It's like I'm killing them. <sighs> long ago. Uh, what are you, royalty? You have to uh, pass it down from generation to generation? Yes, yes, she does. It, it's a store. How can you say that? Three generations of an Armenian-American family. Well, our kids don't want it. I want it. See, Avram wants it. Great. 
problem solved. Uh, Jason, go do your homework. I want to be called Avram, at least in the store. I want to be called Avram. I finished all my homework. Can I help stock the shelves now? No, we got this uh, plumbing emergency. Everything my grandparents lost, they put into this place. I uh, listed the store with the O'Donnell real estate agency down the block. Um, she's bringing someone over this afternoon. Wait, oh no, I just remembered. I have a huge homework project to do. It's huge. I have to get to work right away. I'm going to be concentrating real hard back there, so whatever you do, please don't come looking for me, all right? I'm going to be real busy. Don't come looking for me. J Jason, what was that all about? Hey, Marco. Hey, Johnny. Glad you could make it. Um, maybe to the sick. I had to bring the kids. I hope it's okay. I was telling them on the way over here that you and I used to be in school together. Yeah. Uh, sister uh, Maria Elisabetta. I remember her. I remember her. <laughs> <laughs> she used to make the whole class stand up and sing. Santa Lucia, it's a beautiful song from the old country. The silver star glitters on the sea. The waves are gentle and the winds are calm. Come into my boat, St. Lucie. My father used to sing that at the dinner table every Sunday. Every Sunday. Like it was back in Naples with the family. <laughs> Sul mare lucica, la strada gendo, la cida e l'onda, prospero il vento. Sul mare lucica, la strada gendo, la cida e l'onda, prospero il vento. Venite la gile. Marqueta mia, Santa Lucia, Santa Lucia, venite a ragione, Marqueta mia, Santa Lucia, Santa Lucia, tu sei in the whole class was Italian. Those days are gone. So, water in the basement, is that what we got today? Yeah. Johnny, did I ever tell you why this store was named the Golden Door? Yes, you did. My grandparents said this store was an outpost of the Statue of Liberty. You know the words on the Statue of Liberty? I do. <laughs> Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore, Send these the homeless tempest toss to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Oh, you should have seen my grandmother's eyes when she used to recite those words. So the water in the basement started when? Well, Johnny, Boston's changed, you know, the neighborhood. I, I can't understand half the people walking down the streets these days. Uh, talking Chinese, Portuguese. You hear a lot of Spanish, you Marco. know what I mean? Luis is our best customer, Marco. He loves Ani's food. He's Dominican. Oh. Why don't they all want to eat Armenian food? It's the healthiest diet there is. I say to everyone, you don't have to eat only rice. Eat bulgur, cracked wheat, much better for you than rice. Yeah, but those people, they're just never going to fit in. They're immigrants, Marco. They just got here. you got to give them a break. Daddy, where are your grandparents immigrants? Sure thing, from Italy and Poland. I keep forgetting, you got a few Jewish genes. Uh, it's a good thing my Jewish grandmother can't hear you. This used to be a Jewish neighborhood a long time ago. Till it became an Armenian neighborhood. But that's all gone now, too. Uh, all those Jewish, Jewish, Jewish immigrants up and down the street, gone to work, buying food. All the ghosts. Kind of summoned them up. 
They thought America was paradise. They had this song about Columbus thanking him for discovering America. Hey, Columbus, Italian guy. Long live Columbus. That's the song. In the Yiddish language, it's Leben soll Columbus. It's a funny song. I loved it. It goes like this. America is like a shtetl. That's like a little town where life is great, Everybody sing, long live Columbus. A shtetl is America, a machaya kleben. Es wird dort vier dich hine lem, es soll in nasoi leben. Wir kommen bis fix in Menschen blood, darf in mir auf Zoris. A gubernate darf mir nicht, a kaiser auf Kaporis. I is good, sing she halle mit. Oi, leben so Columbus, drink green and let the kain. Oi, leben so Columbus, oi, for them and the lying. Sei es zu frieden, glenn it in the trombus. Schreit je jeden, leben so Columbus, leben so Columbus. <laughs> but basically, Johnny, you're Italian. And the thing about Italians is we fit in everywhere. You know why? Because everybody's Italian at heart. And if they're not Italian, they wish they were. Oh, that's your opinion. Well, uh, what's the universal food? Pizza. What's the most beautiful language in the world? Italiano. Where does everyone want to go on vacation? Italia. Italians are the universal type. Portense bien y no toqueteen nada. New customers. Well, they need to speak English, for starters. Good morning. Good morning. May I help you? Thank you. Just looking. She speaks Spanish and English, two languages. Mira, viendo los frijoles, el arroz se ve muy bueno. Blancos, negros, todo está muy bueno. You stay here, don't touch anything, and be good. Sure thing, Dad. We can help you learn some Spanish. Niños, cantemos de colores. It's a beautiful Spanish song about all the colors of the world, including the people. De colores, de colores se visten los campos en la
Mommy, that's my teacher. No se señala. Just a minute. The store is not for sale. It's not for sale. Okay. I didn't come here to buy the whole store. Oh, good. Fine. How can I help you? I'm Xiaoling. I teach at the school. They teach Chinese at that school? I'm a music teacher. Oh, how nice. You know, the minute I say I'm a teacher, 99% of the people assume I teach Chinese. Funny, huh? Yes, I mean, sorry. Your English is very good. I've lived here for 35 years. Oh, I'm just full of surprises. Well, what kind of music do you teach? Traditional songs from all over the world. Uh, what's all that banging from downstairs? The plumber. There's a lot of water in our basement. Oh, should I be shopping here? Oh, our food is delicious. Highest quality. The reason I came in is for my granddaughter. And she has a homework project on Armenian immigration. That's me. I'm Lucy. I know Jason. He talks about this place all the time. Does he? How can I help? Samples of non-perishable Armenian fruits and one cultural item. You know, I said to Lucy, why didn't they assign a project on Chinese immigration? We came here long before the Armenians. Chinese people built the railroads. We connect this country from coast to coast. We are a major immigrant group. My grandparents lost their whole world. It happened 100 years ago. Most of the Armenians in the old country were killed or driven out of the country. But some survived, and they came to America. Oh dear, I'm sorry. There are so many stories we've never heard of. Um, what can we get for a culture item? Oh, maybe a jazz vape for making coffee? Haven't I seen you at school? Mis hijos van a go to the fourth grade. Hi there, of course. You're in my music class. Do you have this Armenian immigration project too? Miss mm -hmm. Xiao. I have a question. Do you teach the children Latin American songs? I sure do. Don't you sing your songs for your parents at home? Come on, let's sing. This one is from Guatemala. <laughs> We have to close the store. There's a lot of water in the basement. It's getting worse. Johnny has to shut off the water main so he can fix it. Uh, we can't be open without running water. It's against the law, so we have to close. I need to buy my things. I I'm sorry, ma'am. It's illegal. I just need a jazz, jazz thing. A jazz fit. Just when I get a few customers. We're closing now. We have to close. Closing. I don't have time to come back later. Wait, wait. Maybe I can't sell you anything, but why can't I give it to you? Sit down, sit down. I'm Xiaoling. I teach music at the neighborhood school. She knows all the canciones. This place takes me back. My grandparents used to have a store like this in China. Like this? Oh, um, dusty. Um, flies on the windowsills, and jars full of weird things to eat. Yeah, well, uh, we're selling the place. <clears throat> oh, that's too bad. A rummage it. Help yourselves. Oh, the store is full. I haven't seen it like this in I don't know how long. It's a party. <laughs> What is 
that, mother? No se señala. Dice grosero. Interesting. It's probably an acquired taste. Oh, you made jasmine tea. How did you know? Know what? It's my favorite. Oh, I made it because it's my favorite. Oh, let's sing a jasmine song for Mrs. Arnie. This is a famous Chinese song about jasmine flowers. The lyrics say, Jasmine, Jasmine, how pretty, how fragrant. Please let me pick you to give to a close friend. Oh, it know that song. Even I know it. The cranes, the birds, they migrate. It's about the homeland the Armenians left behind. Will you tell me the lyrics? The words are simple. Where do you come from, crane? I long to hear your call. To know you come from home, have you any news at all? Would you sing the whole thing? I would love to hear it. Soon and from my grandmother's chow show uh, one time after all these years. Los tamales of my mother. Mine do not say it are the same. You, you can't find what you want in Chinatown? I don't like Chinatown. What if you have to leave America and move to another country and there in this little part of city that they called America Town? Don't you think that would be weird? What a nutty idea. I don't know where I belong. The older I get, the more I'm not sure. At least Lucy won't feel that way. She's American. Well, yeah, what else would I be? But your kids can become too American. They can forget their roots. They can get lost. We should get Avram. Tell him we're having a party. He's got to do his homework. I teach in the Chinese Culture Center, too, and I teach the ribbon dance. And I tell the kids that Chinese have done the same dance for a thousand years. So when we do it now, it's like you're dancing with people from a thousand years ago. That sends a shiver down my back. Miss Xiao, would you show us? 
um, at least I could tell you the story, the story of how the ribbon dance came to be. Once long ago, there was a Chinese emperor named Tang Minghuang. One evening, as he slept in his dream, he saw a beautiful lady who was up in the moon. She was wearing a gown of brilliant colored silk. The emperor gazed up at her in rapture. He gazed with such longing that finally he couldn't bear it anymore, and he begged the lady to let him to go up and join her in the moon. In reply, she threw down a long silk ribbon to earth. The emperor stepped onto the ribbon, and as he did, the ribbon turned into a ribbon ladder. He climbed all the way to the beautiful lady in the moon, and that was the happiest night of his life. Ever since that night, all the maidens waved long, brilliantly colored silk ribbons as they dance. terrific offer for you. I lead historic walking tours of Boston, Danny Boy tours. All the tour guides are actors and we dress the part. Check out my website, www.dannyboytours.com. Who's Danny Boy? Oh, my name's Danielle, but I go by Danny. Everybody knows Danny Boy. The song? Oh, Danny Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. I have three unique walking tours of old Irish neighborhoods in Boston, and I'd love to put your store on my number three tour. And you'd have the opportunity to create a special picnic lunch this for my customers. This isn't an Irish neighborhood. It used to be an Armenian neighborhood. And before that, it was Jewish. And before that, my friends, it was Irish. Look, I can tell you property deeds. Look, all the old names are Irish. Just look. Well, uh. They moved on. They prospered and moved on. It was hard times back then, mind you. Employers would put up signs saying, no Irish. Nobody would hire the Irish. Do you know the old song? I'm a simple Irish girl and I'm looking for a place. I felt the grip of poverty, but sure it is no disgrace. To be long before I get one, though indeed it's hard I try. For reading each advertisement, no Irish need apply. I'll ask for my poor country that I never will deny. How they insult us when they write, no Irish need apply. I'll ask for my poor country that I never will deny. How they insult us when they write, no Irish need apply. 
goodbye. Ah, but now I'm in the land of the glorious and free, and proud I am to own it, a country dear to me. I can see by your kind faces that you these tours. Uh, how many people do you get on one of these tours? Say 25. <gasps> Marco, let's do it. And uh, how many a week? Three, maybe four. A hundred new customers a week. And how many have you done? I'm launching the business this summer. So have you done any? <laughs> None. Well, I'm looking to hire a couple of guys for the summer. So for right now it's just you, Danny boy, flying solo. But not for long. I've got more push than a pig in a trough, as my dad used to say. <laughs> uh, Marco. Oh, I got some bad news. I don't know how you made it this far. That system down there is so old. That's my grandma. Uh, oh. Jason, uh, where, where'd you come from? I, I thought you were out back doing your homework. Where have you been, young man? I just went down the block. You what? I just went down the block. He's been with me. It's fine. Don't worry. I'm Deirdre O'Donnell from O'Donnell Realty. Oh, Robert. Are you Audie? What a charming grandson you have. May I introduce Aaron Morgenstern and his sister, Fiona Morgenstern. I'm their broker. Marco, good to meet you. I'm Danny of Danny Boy Tours. Historic walking tours of old Irish neighborhoods in Boston. Hashtag Danny Boy Tours at Danny Boy Boston. <laughs> Your grandson has been telling us all about the store. Quite a unique property. Uh, did we hear singing as we approached? Oh, no, Irish need a fly. I sang that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Add me on Snapchat. <laughs> but the store, the store has been taken off the market. What? The store's been in my family for 92 years. Yes, it's wonderful. Your, your grandson tells us he wants to be the next manager when you're ready to retire. He's, he's in eighth grade. Oh, from what I can see, he can handle two jobs. We were really excited to hear about this property. We've been looking for a building in this neighborhood for months. Why? Honey. Our great-grandparents grew up in this neighborhood. <laughs> they used to be, it used to be a Jewish neighborhood. As you might know, they came in 1910 and ran a kosher butcher shop somewhere near here. But that street's gone now. We've done a lot of historical research, and we want to help restore the neighborhood. They were German Jews, our great-grandparents. The Jews and the Armenians have so much in common. Oh, well, that's all very nice, but I'm not selling you the store. But your grandson told I us I said that you have to be tough with Grandma. I said oh. she doesn't want to sell, but that's because she doesn't want to lose it. What I said is, isn't there a way that we can sell it and keep it at the same time? Now, this young man's got a head for business. Ani <laughs> Marco, we've been considering a proposal. Can we show you what we're thinking? Grandma, you're not mad at me? I can't believe you did that. If you want to stay in business, why don't you sell other things besides Armenian food? Look at this neighborhood. This could be an international store. Beans and rice. If you advertise, everybody would buy. I know a Chinese distributor. He carries the best pot stickers, uh, chicken dumpling, gyoza. The best. Tastes like homemade. This is what I've been saying for years. Give people more Italian specialties than slipping a little Armenian food on the side. <laughs> Why couldn't you make an open house for everyone in the neighborhood? Make it a party, string up lanterns and all kinds of food. Can we have music too? Our shopping list. You mean, 
If we sold this stuff, you would shop here? Si, senor. Uh, if my friend Lupe makes the best tortillas, the best. You understand? I, I know tortilla chips. Not chips, tortillas. Tortillas is like the um, mama. It comes first, then the little ones, the chips. You understand? I understand tortilla chips very well, very. Well, if my friend Lupe makes your tortillas, everybody would buy. We should talk. Um, Marisol. Marisol. Ani, this is the neighborhood. If we're not an Armenian store, we lose our identity. Maybe, maybe we gotta make a new one. If I'm not Armenian, who am I? Americana. Well, she's right, isn't she? You're not just one thing. Como mis hijos, they were born here. Like me, I was born here, but I'm still Armenian. Nobody's just one thing. You're a cook and you're Armenian. These are songs that we can sing. I'm Italian, I sell groceries. Nobody's just one thing. I'm Chinese and I'm a teacher. These are songs that we can sing. We are mothers, sisters, and brothers. Nobody's just one thing. We are Jewish, we love history. These are songs that we can sing. We are neighbors, we speak Spanish. Nobody's just one thing. And though each one of us is different, we are all more the same. And if we all look hard at each other, we see that nobody's just one thing. songs that we can sing. I'm a plumber and a father. Nobody's just one thing. You're a cook and you're Armenian. I'm Chinese and I'm a teacher. We are Jewish, we love history. These are songs that we can sing. They are famous, they speak Spanish. No Door stay in business. We now, one possibility is that we would purchase the building. We'd bear all the costs of upgrading and maintaining the building so your expenses would be greatly reduced. And if you expanded your inventory so you could draw in new customers. We need to make some renovations, but we consult with you, of course. Excuse me. The whole plumbing system is shot. We'll, we'll add it to the list. list. So the golden door terms would have to be hammered out. I can't get over it. Our great grandparents could have shopped right here in this very store. Could have bought their eggs and their milk. Yep, with some renovations, this place could be a real draw. I'll feature it on all my tours. <laughs> Hashtag the golden door. Are, so you're saying I would still own the business? We'd be partners, and the golden door stays open. <laughs> 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 oh, I never dreamed this could happen. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm dizzy. This calls for a celebration, and I'm still the owner. And I'm still the owner's charming Italian husband. <laughs> what about me? What's my job? <laughs> I think consultant would be a good title. And manager in training? Grandma? Sure. And eighth grader? Nobody's just one thing, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm Armenian and I'm an 